We do not wish any more of our people hurt. I ask you this now, outsider. Are you willing to parley? She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. She means you no harm, provided your willingness to parley in peace is an honest one. What would be the point? You have already proven your strength. We have no wish to anger you further. She is not Witherfang, but she can tell you of Witherfang if you ask. But first, you must agree to parley. Swiftrunner did not think it would matter. The lady disagrees. And since you have forced your way this far, we must acquiesce to her wishes. Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the Fade itself to see you pay. <sighs>
I bid you welcome, mortal. I am the Lady of the Forest. Do not listen to him, lady. He will betray you. We must attack him now. Hush, Swift Runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that what you want? No, my lady. Anything but that. And the time has come to speak with this outsider, to set our rage aside. I apologize on Swift Runner's behalf. He struggles with his nature. Truer words were never spoken. But few could claim the same as these creatures, that their very nature is a curse forced upon them. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. Centuries ago, when the Dalish first came to this land, a tribe of humans lived close to this forest. They sought to drive the Dalish away. Zathrian was a young man then. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, the human tribe captured them both. <sighs> the humans tortured the boy killed him. The girl they raped and left for dead. The Dalish found her, but she learned later she was with child. She killed herself. Zathrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit binding it to the body of our great wolf. So Witherfang came to be. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others were cursed by his blood, becoming twisted and savage creatures. Twisted and savage just as Witherfang himself is. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained, pitiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady, you gave me peace. I showed Swiftrunner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage and his humanity emerged, and he brought others to me. In part, we seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who were long dead. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the landships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. <sighs> we spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal, you must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. Tell him if he refuses, I will ensure that Witherfang is never found. He will never cure his clan. 